Hello everybody and welcome back. Over the past couple of weeks I've been fighting with multicolor printing or multi-material printing and it's been quite a pain in the ass. I must admit that. Um, I ran into problems all the way and most of the time um, I had problems with uh, wipe towers, I had problems with priming and in the end I decided to just put a big hole into my print bed and have the printer dump all excessive filament into there. And it's probably been the best and easiest decision that I've made since building this printer because this took care of so many problems I had and in retrospect I wonder why it took me so long to figure this one out. It started out with um, the uh, wipe towers uh, which turned out to be so incredibly large um, that I was just pumping enormous amounts of filament um, onto the print bed um, and I wasn't really getting anything in return and um, from time to time the printer would knock one of these over and then you'll have a failed print and quite a mess. So. I started experimenting with uh, other forms of dump um, to the right of the printer, to the left of the printer, um, but that didn't work out either. So then I took a 10 millimeter drill and put a hole into the far right corner of the printer. And um, as you can see, the printer actually expels everything into there. Um, uses the print bed to wipe the print head clean, uh, primes the nozzle again, and when it's done with that, it just continues printing. And the results are really great, like for example, this cone, or this cone, or this cone, or this slightly larger cone, or an even bigger one, and loads of other things that I've done like these small frogs in different sizes and it just works so good and it's so easy and I really don't know why a lot of printers don't do that because it's it's really clean because all of the excessive filament is dumped below the printer um, where it's no issue when I had the the dump at the top of the printer, sometimes filament would fall down or get caught on the nozzle and just fall onto the print, causing a mess. And it's so easy and it's so clean that I'm really happy that I did it. And uh, the whole procedure is very simple. The change of filament occurs the print head goes to the far right back. Um, it expels some of the filament that is inside the nozzle because that usually gets pretty soft over a long print. Um, then it does a uh, zigzag motion front to back and it retracts the filament up into the switch. Um, the new filament is then spun into the print head and it expels just enough so the new color um, is true and then it just starts continuing to print. It waits a short time before that to make sure that you don't have any oozing. Um, wipes the print head off once again and that's it. It is so simple and it can be done with the simplest command um, to repetir so there's no software change involved. This is just a normal print head change and uh, yeah that is really really simple it's really cool and um, it is very easy to do you do lose about well half of the width of your print head but only in the far back corner um, you can either make your print area smaller or you can just make sure that you don't use that area 
and that's it. That's the whole thing behind it. Um, if you're interested in the code, um, I will publish it. It will be part of the big Robin files. And uh, yeah, that's it. This is so simple. I wonder why it took so long. Thank you very much for watching, and bye bye.